You just squirted a, a kid out of your doesn't mean you're worthy of being a mother. That is Catherine Smith, and this is going to get a lot worse. Let me first start by saying this. If you are with the press or media in Midvale, Utah, yes, this family would absolutely like to talk to you. First, Did I ever tell you about the time that I used to live in Utah? It's quite a bit of a culture shock, believe it or not. But let's talk about the story that went viral, that Tizzy made viral. OK, so in Midville, Utah, a series of videos posted by a Utah family is causing a stir on social media and local government officials have spoken out. Mm. They've spoken out. The video was posted last week showing a family, a family's neighbor allegedly harassing them in Midville, Midville, Utah. The woman is seen on the camera shouting out racial slurs at the family and saying other vulgar things in the collection of videos. It then caught more attention on Monday after it was posted on social media by Tizzy. If you guys know Tizzy, follow Tizzy. I mean, he really touches on a lot of hard-hitting issues. He gave commentary about the situation. He says in the video that police have been informed of this neighbor woman, which her name is Catherine Smith, a former prosecutor doing the most in the neighborhood in Midvale, Utah. He says in the video that the police have been informed there's not enough to arrest this woman. We're going to watch what this woman is doing. Midville City released a statement about the video later Monday evening. They said, we believe that the behavior in the video is disgusting. To be clear, Midville City condemns this conduct. The statement reads, in part, while privacy rules keep us from sharing the details, please be assured that the appropriate authorities are involved in taking the situation seriously. Our community takes great pride in our diversity racism has no place in midville mm, 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 mm. let's watch this video let's give some commentary okay let's get into it you just squirted a, a kid out. you just squirted a, a kid out of your doesn't mean you're worthy of being a mother that is Catherine Smith, and this is going to get a lot worse. Let me first start by saying this. If you are with the press or media in Midvale, Utah, yes, mm. this family would absolutely like to talk to you. First, some backstory. This couple, who is interracial, they and their son are living in this neighborhood. They're very happy there. And one day back in May, a neighbor of theirs who's a single mother approached them and said, hey, could you possibly help me put up my security system? I got these cameras. I just need help with it because I don't know how to do it. Husband said, sure, no problem, happy to help you. She wanted them put up because allegedly she was having problems with the neighbor, Kathy. And while he was there putting him up, Kathy came over and looked at him and allegedly said, you chose the wrong side. He didn't choose a side, he was just helping out a neighbor. But then she Kathy? turned to the single mother. Kathy, 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 this is Kathy, okay? Catherine Smith from Midvale, Utah, all right? And allegedly said, oh, I see you need to hire N-words to do your work for you. And that was the beginning of an absolute nightmare that has been going on for seven months now. Anytime that this neighbor comes near their home, whether they're outside or not, she does this. Oh, Lord. That was just two videos, but she literally has over a hundred. She also does things like come onto their property, take pictures with, or seemingly mess with their vehicles. And then there's this. Oftentimes at two or three in the morning, she comes and just parks in front of their home. In addition to all that, their nine-year-old son lives in fear. He looks outside first to make sure she isn't there because when he's outside, nowhere near her, staying in his own yard, she targets him. Why is this okay? Can somebody in their right mind tell me in the comments, why is this okay? Why is this woman allowed to do this? And it's all documented. Why is this okay? Did I mention that she was a former prosecutor? Is that why Midbell is like looking away the other way, hiding? Utah, Utah is like trying to hide. I lived in Utah for a couple of years. I know how the get down gets down over there. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> Allegedly, she's also chased him on several occasions, at least one of those, 
She told them, I have savanna cats from Africa. That's them right there. I'm going to feed you to my savanna cats. This woman is tormenting this little boy. This little boy is covering his ears. He's not going back and forth. Utah, Midvale. Citizens, leaders, why is this okay? Mm, 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 mm. My cats are going to eat you. Mom was not thrilled about this, had had enough, and decided to confront her. Do not say shit. Please call the cops. My fucking Do fucking not fucking talk to the kids. You keep your fucking illegal dog on a fucking leash. Do not talk to my kids. Do you I understand? Don't I don't even know if you have oh, more than one kid, really. But you want to know something? Huh? I don't talk to your kids. So get the f out of my face. Do not what would you guys do if this was your neighbor? Let me know in the chat. What would y'all do? What would you do if this was your neighbor? You can't put hands on her, right? Because then you get into trouble. Then she has every right to come at you. What would you do? I pay taxes, yo. Okay. I'm a Mexicana too. Like, come on now. Just imagine having a neighbor like this. Why is this okay? Not say sh to the f kids. Do not. Mama bear. Oh, mama bear. I'm so afraid of you. I'm so afraid of you, Papa Bear. What? Yeah. Just because you Catch fucking. Me. Just because you. Catch me. You just f worthy. But a Catch kid me. out of your f doesn't mean you're Touch worthy of being me. a mother. Touch me. Taunt me. The kids can be outside, and there's no f***ing reason that you talk to them. They're down by your I house. Never talk they to are them. not by your house. There's no reason. Them. Do not, not walk and get Do not it. walk. What are you going to do? Do not walk towards the kids. Do not f talk to them. It's a free country. Is fuck it a bitch. free country? Get fuck fuck it out is of my face. Yes, country? it is. What are you and do? your f bad ass is fucking. Get the f baby out of there. Now, in case you missed that last part, she said, get that baby out of here. Mm -hmm. And then punched her in the stomach. And she is pregnant. Yeah. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. You might think, why don't they call the police? Oh, they have many, many, many times. And do you know what the police tell them? Nothing we can do. It's freedom of speech. And we know it's freedom of speech because Kathy has told us on no uncertain terms it's freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. and she should know because Kathy is a former prosecutor. Now, you might say, but wait. She punched her. That's assault. You are correct. Yep. Former prosecutor. Y'all tell me how she's getting away with all this. Hmm? Because the mayor also, you know, he gave that speech that we believe that the behavior in the video is disgusting. To be clear, Midvale City condemns this conduct. The statement reads in part, while privacy rules keep us from sharing the details, please be assured that the appropriate authorities are involved in taking the situation seriously. Our community takes pride in our diversity. Racism has no place in Utah. So how is that woman allowed to punch the other woman while she's pregnant and somehow nothing else is done? Tell me. Tell me. Why is this okay? Why is this allowed? For what? The mayor, Marcus Stevenson. Okay also gave a statement on social media. It is hard to describe how disgusted I feel learning that one of our Midvale families is living in a situation where they're dealing with regular races and feeling their safety is at risk. He said, to be clear, racism has no place in our community. Everyone should feel welcomed here and our community actions should back that up. The mayor said he's in contact with the city management and police about the situation and working to speak to the family directly to work work on a situation that provides justice mm -mm -mm. someone's gonna get killed that's what's gonna happen that woman is gonna hurt that little boy okay i said it she was charged with assault in fact there's a warrant out for her arrest on assault in fact she currently has four active warrants four and the police will not arrest her cuatro 
They will not execute these warrants and arrest her. And while they don't do this, she's still harassing them. Oh, there's the other savage stalking me, stalking me again. You are so out of control. Grow up. I hear you. I hear you got a nappy headed baby in. Police haven't arrested her. HOA won't even do anything. They've gone to the HOA and the HOA says, uh, we're not sure. Uh, hate speech isn't part of a reason that we can kick someone Lord out of the neighborhood. Mercy. We'd have to put it to a vote. We'd have to go through a bunch, of, a bunch of things. This is really just a disagreement between two neighbors. They have to put it to a vote. <laughs> Lord of mercy. We have to put it to a vote. We have to. This is just a disagreement. You know, this is, you know. We have to vote. This is between y'all. By the way, what she's been doing is absolutely a crime, setting aside the assault. Mm -hmm. Harassing that family and there being a racial element makes it a hate crime. It is not unlike the hammer lady from St. Louis that I did videos on. That woman who was coming to this family's home and threatening them and using racial slurs. And when that finally came out in that video and it got attention because local press jumped on it, Police were like, hey, we turned all this over to the prosecutor. Prosecutor didn't do anything. And it turned out it had been sitting on the prosecutor's desk for like mm -hmm. a year. She hadn't done anything. And last I heard, uh, she was having some people looking into her, and it probably wasn't going to go well for her career as a prosecutor. Oh. Now, the family did contact the FBI, and the FBI got back to them. FBI talked to the police, and allegedly now the police are like, well, we think there's some mental health issues there. No kidding. Same thing with the hammer lady in St. Louis. There was So if... Catherine Smith harms the children, the neighbors. If she takes it to that point, because she has made threats to do so, that she was going to feed the kid to the cat, right? Because the cat is from Africa and whatnot. If she does that, is that the excuse it was a mental health issue? Can she be held accountable? Well, I'm just, just wondering, asking, because just imagine, you know, you buy a house, okay? In this neighborhood, HOA, nice neighborhood, HOA rules are there, they're voting, whatever, whatever. And then this lady actually follows through by hurting, harming somebody. What is the excuse? She's got some mental health issues. And listen, I'm an advocate for people getting the support and services that they need. But I'm also an advocate about prevention. Let me know your thoughts, okay? Because let me tell you, this is going to escalate. Someone's going to get hurt here. Definitely mental health issues. Doesn't make it less of a hate crime. Mm -mm. Doesn't mean it's this family's problem and they should have to deal with it. That's right. And I'll go one step further. Not only should she be charged with a hate crime, but every case against a minority that she prosecuted as a prosecutor should be reviewed and looked at. Mm because this does not seem like someone who could operate without bias. So what do you guys think about that? Because it does make you wonder, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments about that. Midvale, Utah, you've got a problem and the whole world is now going to be watching to see how you deal with it. Thank you, Tizzy. Thank you, Tizzy. And I'm glad. I am so glad they got people making statements. You got the city councilman, Brian Brown added, I'm mortified for the family. I'm embarrassed. It is happening. There's no excuse. I will get, I will get to the bottom of it. An attorney for the family sent a statement to Fox 13 news, which reads in part, the woman who continues to harass and be little children who are her neighbors believe her status as chosen makes her better. She believes she's entitled to yell whatever vulgarities, obscenities, lies, and attacks on kids with no reprisal. She perpetuates this heinous act with the full support of the HOA. They know she drives by their home and taunts them with the N-word, monkey noises, and other slurs meant to be little. What would you guys do? How would you guys touch this situation? What needs to be done? Midvale, Utah, you're looking away at this situation. I lived there. I, I, I know what Utah was like, okay? Y'all got a big problem over there. You do, all right? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And shout out to Tizzy for bringing attention to yet this issue and many others that he does bring attention to um, and challenging these leaders of that community with this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbit's up.